friends welcome to today's session our today's session is on spark interview question a scenario based on uh, our question is we have a two files with different schema and we need to read those two files as a two different data frames and merge those into a single data frame here i have shown you an example we have a file 1 and file 2 with two different schemas file 1 has name and age column and file 2 has uh, three columns uh, gender column is getting added and uh, the resultant uh, data frame here we can observe that we have three columns and the value of gender is null for the file 1 records so we are going to see how we can uh, do this in PySpark we have several options to achieve this we will see all the options one by one the approaches that we are going to see today for merging the two data frame is the first approach will be a uh, with column and union uh, we will be using with column function to add a, a column name that is not available in a data frame with a null value and again we will use a union to club those two into a single data frame let us quickly move on to a demo and let us check how we can do this as usual i have opened the anaconda prompt uh, i mean uh, jupyter prompt and uh, initiated the spark session and spark context let us quickly read our uh, input data frame 1 and 2 separated with the pipe symbol let us check what is the data available in df1 ok I haven't to give the header as true let me give that as well Now we can see in our df1 we have two columns and let us quickly go and read the df2 I had named it as input2.csv and I will give a header as true. So here we can see uh, we have uh, one more column getting added gender. We will not be able to apply union all directly. I will show you. will throw error stating we don't have a matching columns union can be performed on the table with the same number of columns so to overcome this the first option that we are looking is like to the data frame 1 we are going to add a column which is named gender and we are making it as null we have to input the let function let me do that now we can check this dfr data frame so here we can observe that uh, the gender column has been added but with the null value on top of this we can apply union 
I will show you underscore add dot So by this way we will be able to merge. This is one method. Uh, let us quickly go through the second method as well. The second method is to define a schema uh, for both the data frames. Uh, while reading the CSV file itself, we will uh, infer the schema by defining a struct type or else uh, a case class. And uh, after defining, uh, we will union both the data frames. Let us uh, have a demo for this as well. Second method, I will uh, give a heading as Let us define our schema first Ok, I will import the library as well We have three columns, so I will be giving name of type string and I will say it as true. I will make nullable as true and will repeat the same for other three columns as well age and gender. So now we defined a schema, uh, let us use this while reading it. Still I will make a header as true. and we will infer a schema so we are done I will quickly read uh, other uh, data frame as well So we have defined both the data frames. Now we can uh, directly apply union function since we have uh, same number of columns in both the data frames. So let us give show, show command. So here you can check like even though we didn't uh, give any with column, we just defined a schema, we have inferred the schema and we are able to give union. So this is one more method and let us move on to the third method which is a uh, outer join. So here again we will let us read it as a data frame 1. Let me make, uh, let me give that first df.
and we will define a second as well let me copy paste it so now we are going to join these two data frame first underscore df dot join the second underscore df and in on condition I am going to give both the columns first column is name and the second column is age and I am going to say outer I will assign this to a data frame as well. Now let us check the output. We can observe that uh, join is taking a bit time since it includes uh, shuffle in it and uh, the output is as expected. We can see it is joined and uh, we have uh, null values for the uh, values that is not available in uh, file 1. Our final method is an automated approach. Uh, we know like uh, in our real time scenario we will not have a only one column that is being get, getting added uh, while merging the two data frames. It might be a number of columns so we will not be able to write uh, with condition, uh, with column, uh, union uh, or else uh, define a schema or else performing outer join so that will not be a best approach instead of automating this approach will be much much useful for us to uh, proceed further so let us look into that uh, before that I would uh, recommend you to try this on your own in your uh, machine uh, so that you will uh, understand the concepts and while executing if you have any issues uh, please let me know I am, hap I am happy to help you let us read the input file for our final approach We can read the data frame 2 as well. So now our data frame 1 and 2 are ready. Uh, what we are going to do in our uh, automated approaches, we are going to take column names from DF1 and DF2 and going to find the difference between the DF1's column and DF2 columns and with column condition with column function we are going to add those columns to df1 and df2 respectively and finally we will be applying a union so let us see how we are doing that df1 dot columns will give the number of columns that is available in df1 and df2 will give number of columns available in df2 now what we are going to do is we are going to give set df1 minus set of df2 dot columns and finally we are converting it as a list so that we can iterate through and I am naming this as list a we will do the same thing for list b as well I mean uh, vice versa a minus b and b minus a vice versa we are doing it now we have both the list and we are iterating to through each of the columns I mean each of the list and we are going to add the column function 
here the column name will be i and function will be lit of alpha so this is one for loop and in another one the same but here we will be using list b and df1 is equal to So by this we can uh, add a column to our df1 uh, the gender column to the df1 so now let us apply a union function on df2 and let us show the result so here we can see the output that we required is being obtained and we can notice that with this approach be it any number of columns with this four lines we will be able to achieve the union and we can uh, merge two data frames hope you enjoyed the video if you have any doubts please let me know i am happy to help you try these four options in your uh, machine and understand the concept of merging two data frames please do subscribe to my channel if you really like the content and also give a thumbs up signal to this video uh, thanks for watching.